Hi guys, welcome back to Old Timer Garage. In today's video I would like to show you the change of a clutch on a car uh, that you've already seen on my channel. It's my friend's uh, 1950 Buick. He bought this car via an exporter based in the US just over a year ago, but very quickly noticed that the clutch was almost worn out. So these are the pictures and videos he took when he did change the clutch eventually. As I said before, this car is a 1950 Buick with a straight 8 cylinder engine and manual transmission. The engine alone weighs almost half a ton and uh, two people weren't one too many to get it out of the car. My friend weighed the front bumper on its own to get an idea of um, how much this very characteristic Buick bumper weighed and it was over 32 kilos which would be about 60 odd pounds I guess for those who don't use the metric system. When he took the clutch mechanism out um, he realized that on top of the clutch being worn out uh, there was also a seal that was leaking and uh, oil had spread all over the disc of the clutch which, which um, obviously wouldn't help. Anyway, once the clutch was restored it uh, came back on the engine and everything went back into the car together with the transmission. There are two ways of changing a clutch on those cars. The first one is by taking the engine out like my friend did here and the other one is by taking the gearbox out which also uh, implies that you need to take the drive, drive shaft out so that you can move the gearbox out of the way. Since the engine was out of the car, my friend took advantage of it to respray some of the components uh, that were in the way. Anyway, once everything is back in the car, uh, it's time to start uh, again and see how it works.
And after that, it's about time to take the car for a drive and uh, take advantage of the light of this end of the winter to take some nice pictures. I hope you liked this video. As always, if you did, please click on the thumbs up button, let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Don't forget to click on the bell that is next to the subscribe button uh, so that you get notified next time I post a video. I have another few videos in the making for you, I just need some time to finish editing them, but I promise I'll make sure this is done in the next few days and I will get back to the usual, usual posting schedule of at least three videos a week. I have a new update on the restoration of my Cadillac, so this is going to be uploaded very soon and I also have a few other nice cars to present you. So stay tuned for this and in the meantime, drive safe.